and uh, this is one of the very important chapter for understanding of quantum mechanical system because first time you will encountered with a bounded system the particle in infinite box is bounded obviously it is again a free particle inside this box so let's see what is going to how we can discuss this particular whole uh, system of particle in infinite box so first uh, let me explain you what is uh, infinite box and how we can mathematically represent it so if i am talking about infinite box that means vx is equal to 0 and if i am talking about one dimensional system so here is x is my variable and x is between 0 to a and infinity otherwise so semantically how you can define your infinite box you can define something like this this is my x axis so this is 0 and this will be a and this all reason have very high potential and you can compare that this potential has infinite in nature that means if i am talking about infinite in nature that means you whatever be the energy of a particle you cannot cross from this particular well so this is a one side one type of well the particle is confined in this particular region and that region is between 0 to a and you whatever be the energy whatever be the energy you cannot cross from this particular barrier because it's a infinite barrier and it is next to impossible that you can achieve infinity amount of energy to cross the barrier so obviously we are talking about that particle is just confined inside this particular box so obviously this is bounded system uh first time we are encountering with the bounded system and uh, if it is bounded it is bounded between x 0 to a the value of x can be between 0 to a let us first uh, try to understand what are the classical nature of a particle and uh, then we will just try to understand what will quantum mechanical result if we are using the postulates of quantum mechanics if we are using the basic mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics so classically what can be possible so classically we can have any energy classically we can have any energy between 0 to infinity your particle can have any energy whatever energy you can want you can have any energy between 0 to infinity this is your first thing second thing the energies are continuous in nature energy of particle is continuous in nature what is the meaning of that meaning of that if i am talking about any particular energy e and i am just going for the energy that will be e plus delta e let's say this energy is e and this energy is e plus delta e then we can have infinite number of energies we will between e to e plus delta e so you can assume that this energy level is something like a continuous in nature all the value of energy between e to e plus delta e whatever be the energy you can visualize that will be there so classically your energy is continuous and third the there are not a limitation on minimum value of energy minimum 
मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एनर्जी ओके सो देर आर नॉट अ लिमिटेशन दैट योर एनर्जी वॉट एवर विद मिनिमम एनर्जी यू कैन एज्यूम ऑब्वियसली योर एनर्जी विल बी बिटवीन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी so whatever be the minimum energy minimum epsilon you can assume that can be possible energy for a your classical particle obviously i am not talking about zero value of energy because obviously we have to give some amount of kinetic energy to the particle such that it will go into the motion so zero energy is not a good thing but what we can tell we can tell that we can give particle minimum to minimum value of energy that is more than zero and th that can be possible for that particular particle so these are the story for energies and the most important thing is that the momentum is constant throughout the motion momentum is constant throughout motion that means that means in any distance in any distance to x2 x plus dx if i am talking about some dx distance let's say some dx distance so in any reason if you are taking any dx distance the particle will expand the same amount to travel that particular distance Everybody is going to understand this thing. मैं क्या कह रहा हूं एवरी वन वॉट आई एम वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सपोज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस डी एक्स एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस डी एक्स बोथ आर सेम विथ डी एक्स बोथ आर सेम विथ डी एक्स सो हाउ मेनी टाइम इट विल टेक टू क्रॉस दिस डी एक्स and how many time it is going to cross this dx hence both dx is same so particle will take the same time to cross this dx or this this dx means every point for a particle is a equal probable can i tell this thing yes hai na why it is happening because its momentum is constant so its momentum is constant so particle will travel each dx distance in a same amount then only its momentum is going to constant so in a term of probability what we can say in a term of probability we can say that particle will have equal probability to cross every dx distance are you people comfortable yes sir yes and obviously all the property of free particle of a classical nature will be inherently the part is, is the property of this particular particle in box for example the particle will be what will localized isn't it the particle will will well localized inside the box inside the box means your particle will be uh, at this point at some particular point of time and it has 100% probability that it is at one particular point at that particular time and all other point there is not any chance such that particle will be there so particle is basically what well localized we have discussed this thing in our free particle and particle in box is also a, a one example of free particle only difference is that here we have particle which is bounded in nature so these are the story of a classical nature of a particle if we are confining our particle inside this particular box now let's try to go for what will happen when we try to approach the whole thing quantum mechanically
यहाँ तक कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछना है नेगेटिव वैल्यू कैसे हो जाएगी नेगेटिव वैल्यू नहीं हो सकती है कैसे नेगेटिव वैल्यू हो जाएगी यहाँ पर एनर्जी की वैल्यू मैंने क्या लिखा है जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एंड हाउ यू विल गेट नेगेटिव वैल्यू इफ यू विल गेट नेगेटिव वैल्यू ऑल रीजन आर क्लासिकल फॉरबिडन रीजन इज एंट इट सो इफ ऑल रीजन आर क्लासिकल फॉरबिडन रीजन हाउ यू विल पुट अ पार्टिकल इन टू रीजन ये कभी पॉसिबल हो सकता क्या नहीं हो सकता है है ना सो नेगेटिव वैल्यू ऑफ एनर्जी इज नॉट अलाउड वी हैव एनर्जी दैट इज मोर देन जीरो बिकॉज यू हैव ओनली कानेटिक एनर्जी एंड कानेटिक एनर्जी इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव वी हैव नॉट एनी कॉन्सेप्ट सच दैट कानेटिक एनर्जी कैन बी नेगेटिव सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर अ क्वांटम मैकेनिकल अप्रोच so what we have we have this sort of potential and this is my infinite potential in this region we have infinite potential this is zero this is a so we have region 1 we have region 2 we have region 3 now what will be solution of schrodinger wave equation into region 1 लास्ट क्लास में किया था प्लस बी टू दावर माइनस आई एस रीजन वन रीजन वन की बात कर रहा है जीरो व्हाई बिकॉज व्हेन योर पोटेंशियल इज इनफाइट देन वेव फंक्शन मस्ट बी वैनिश इनटू दैट रीजन लास्ट क्लास में मैंने प्रूफ किया था ओके तो साई वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स इज लेस देन जीरो साई वन इज जीरो वॉट अबाउट योर साई टू माई पार्टिकल इज फ्री इन दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉक्स okay so if it is free inside this particular box then we have solution a e to the power i k x plus b e to the power minus i k x both can be solution because we are just talking about the free particle and if it is free particle the solution will be e to the power i k x or e to the power minus i k x both can be possible because you can have positive momentum but you can have negative momentum and there may be superposition of these momentum state which can be the solution of your hamiltonian also because it's just a free particle so we have basically between 0 to a and we can take equality sign and what about the third one 0 0 Again, because potential is what infinite. So, if potential is infinite, then your wave function is again zero. Good. So now, what we have? We have three unknown quantity a, b, and k. If we can solve these three unknown quantity, we can easily find the all property of wave function. corresponds to our schrodinger wave equation as well as energy eigen value actually what we have solved we have solved this equation isn't it h psi is equal to what e psi and this is all the and we have to define our psi in the all region from minus infinity to plus infinity okay so we have solve all this thing into our free particle session so i am just writing the direct answer so now the wave function must be continuous because we have wave function from minus infinity to plus infinity so if it is continuous then obviously psi 1 0 must be equal to psi 2 0 so we are using the boundary condition and if psi 1 zero so what is psi 1 zero is zero and now if we are putting x is equal to zero into this region then what will happen this will something a plus b and from here the 
there must be solution there must be relationship between a and b and there that relationship is just b must be equal to minus a if we are talking about particle in box and the size of box is a and the boundary of the box is at zero and a then this coefficient must be negative to each other a must be equal to minus b so if a must be equal to minus b what will be your psi 2 psi 2 ko kya likh sakte ho a e to the power i k x minus e to the power minus i k x and what we can do we can just divide 2y multiply by 2y so this is function and i can write this number as c and this value is nothing but sin kx and obviously this is in the reason 0 to a next boundary condition we have to go for what next boundary condition kis ke liye jayenge we have to go for psi 2 at x is equal to a must be equal to psi 3 at x is equal to a and if we are going to solve this thing what is psi 2 at x is equal to a we have c sin k a must be equal to 0 hence c is not equal to 0 then sin k a must be equal to 0 which implies the value of k a must be equal to n pi and what is value of n what is value of n here 1 2 3 1 2 3 why not 0 why not 0 so n is equal to obviously 1 2 3 and so on why not 0 sir k is always yes very good so our k is always greater than 0 and what is your k k is nothing but root under 2m e upon h cut square we have done into last class so k and e is greater than 0 we are solving this all equation for e is greater than 0 so if e is greater than 0 then k must be 0 is greater than 0 and hence k is greater than 0 then obviously n cannot be equal to what 0 so here we have a discrete value of k now first time you can have discrete value of k and that n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on we are just talking about discreteness value of k and what is value of k i can put it here the value of k and the value of k is equal to 2m e upon h cut square must be equal to n pi and from here you can find the value of energy that is en now i can write because energy is not a continuous rather it is discrete in nature so this is one of the very fundamental and mind blowing expression we are getting so n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on so now we have energy eigen value and that energy eigen value is not continuous as we have seen in a free particle when you, when my free particle is just unbounded then energy eigen value was continuous or discrete वहां पर क्या था बताइए when your free particle was unbounded तो वहां continuous था या discrete था continuous you remember your energy was something like this E was h cut square k square upon 2m याद है ये and this k was always a continuous there when you have unbounded system 
but if you have bounded system and due to this boundary condition you can have this thing as your discreteness will come into picture and first time you have encountered with the discreteness of energy for a given system and obviously discreteness is one of the beautiful concept for bounded system when your particle is bounded in nature okay now now the last thing is that we have to find the value of c so how we will find the value of c how we will find the value of c batao normalization normalization very good so we will use our wave function the solution of schrodinger wave equation must be normalized in nature so you can find you can easily find the normalization condition and what is your normalization condition that is mod psi square dx from minus infinity to plus infinity must be equal to 1 but unfortunately all our places my wave function are zero except between 0 to a and this is your mod c square sin square and i can put k in spite of k i will put the value of k as n pi by a so that is n pi x upon a dx must be equal to 1 so how you will solve this equation ise kaise solve karoge is integration ko so now i can write these all thing in term of abstract notation and what are these abstract notation h pi n is equal to en pi n and what is value of en for the particle in box the value of en is equal to n square e not you can put and what is value of e not e not is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2 m a square and what is your value of phi n your value of phi n is basically 2 by a sin n pi x upon a in which region between 0 to a and infinity sorry and zero otherwise so you can easily use your kit and bra formula also and if you are going to visualize or if you are able to do this integration zero to a and we have root 2 upon a or you can write something like this pi n star pi m dx then this value will be nothing but what delta nm and what is your phi n and phi m yeah, corresponding to wave function yes so what is phi n phi n is equal to root 2 upon a sin n pi x upon a kis region mein x is between 0 to a and zero otherwise zero otherwise similarly you can write phi m and that value is root 2 upon a sin m pi x by a and if you will check this thing then you have these all thing are orthonormal in nature so this thing is also phi n phi m this is nothing but delta n so this is a one basic story of particle in infinite box so i will just go for the next box and then we will compare this thing 
okay so story is not over we have just in the middle of that particular uh, discussion but up to that if you have any doubt you can ask the doubt then i will go for next level of discussion okay <clears throat> एनी डाउट यहां तक कोई डाउट है एवरी वन इज कंफर्टेबल चलो now let us go for a next discussion and my question is very simple so i have a width of box a and the boundary of box is between 0 to a okay now suppose i am just going to translate my box towards left with the amount of a by 2 what i am going to do i am just changing the boundary of condition boundary of the box and what is my new box new box is something minus a by 2 and plus a by 2 and this box is centered at 0 last box was centered at what a by 2 we will discuss this all thing okay why we are doing this thing that is very interesting to understand now just can you please tell me is that this box is symmetric in nature about x is equal to 0 or this potential and i can also write this particular potential the vx is equal to 0 if we are talking about minus a by 2 to plus a by 2 and is equal to infinity otherwise and now this is your box but by the way what is the width of box a, a. width of box a. is again a. a so there is not any problem last box ka bhi width kya tha a hi tha is box ka bhi width kitna hai a hi hai lekin humne kya kiya hai we have make this box as a symmetrical in nature everyone is comfortable what is meaning of symmetrical in nature that means v minus x is equal to vx everyone is comfortable right now clear hai and now it is just a law of nature and you can see that if potential is it's symmetric about x is equal to 0 so this potential is symmetric the same amount will be there same amount will be there it is exactly symmetric If x is equal to 0 then parity of a system parity of a system or parity of a wave function or you can say parity of a system also don't worry parity of a system is conserved so parity of a system is going to be what conserved what is the meaning of that we have one operator that operator is parity operator if it is going to operate on any function that x is going to change with minus x so x is just going to change with minus x and we have two eigen value of parity 
So if this psi minus x is equal to psi x, then what is your eigenvalue? One is your eigenvalue. And this is identified as even parity. This is identified as even parity. And if your psi minus x is equal to minus psi x, then this is identified as odd parity. And if I am saying that parity of a system is going to conserve, agar main ye keh raha hu, ki parity of a system is going to conserve, that means the Hamiltonian of a system is going to commute with the parity of a system. So Hamiltonian is one operator, parity is another operator. If parity is going to conserve, then Hamiltonian is going to basically commute with parity. What is meaning of that? Meaning of that, if it is going to happen, then solution of then solution of Schrodinger wave equation solution of Schrodinger wave equation must be either even or odd. The solution of Schrodinger wave equation must be either even or odd. In another word, the solution of of Hamiltonian or eigenfunction of solution of Hamiltonian means actually eigenfunction of Hamiltonian. In other word, you can say that eigenfunction function of Hamiltonian must be eigenfunction eigenfunction of parity. So this is basically law of nature and you have to always take care of your law of nature. Yeah, the clear hai? Main jo baat keh raha Everyone? Up. Check करके देख सकते हो Hamiltonian is going to commute with parity because your potential is symmetric in nature. Side B. हाँ. Sir. भाई अगर कोई हाँ बताओ. Sir मुझे ये point नहीं clear हो रहा. Uh, when a parity operated on the eigen this psi x third line में जो आपने किया equals to hmm. We should be psi x now if uh, it is operating on psi x and giving the eigenvalue 1 and psi minus x. What is the priority of the priority? x ko minus x. Per le jana. Thik? Yes, sir. This is the priority of the So, priority ko the psi x per lagali or psi minus x. Ho gaya. Clear? Hai ye? Yes, sir. And now, what is the possibility of the psi minus x? If psi x is not the तो वो किस चीज का बिहेवियर होगा इवन का बिहेवियर होगा यस yes, अगर साइ माइनस एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स हो जाता है माइनस साइ एक्स हो जाता है तो किस चीज की बिहेवियर होगी ऑड का ऑड की बिहेवियर होगी तो पैरिटी ऑपरेटर के कितने आइगन वैल्यू पॉसिबल है प्लस 1 और माइनस 1 ओके ओके माइनस 1 प्लस 1 का मतलब क्या है व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ प्लस 1 प्लस 1 मींस सेम रहती है सेम एवरी प्लस 1 मींस Plus one means your wave function is even. Even. Minus one means odd. your wave it's function even. is odd. Clear hai? Okay. Okay. Dusri baat. 
अगर कोई भी ऑपरेटर हेमिल्टोनियन के साथ कम्यूट कर रहा है तो वो कंजर्व होगा लिख लीजिए इफ एनी ऑपरेटर इफ एनी ऑपरेटर एनी ऑपरेटर विल कम्यूट विथ हेमिल्टोनियन विथ हेमिल्टोनियन देन दैट ऑपरेटर then that operator is conserved to wo operator kya ho jayega conserve hoga obviously that operator should be not a function of time wo operator time ka function nahi hona chahiye okay and operator is not a function of time and it is going to commute with hamiltonian then it is just going to be conserved isko hum log bahut hi detail study karenge when we will go into the classical mechanics okay abhi just so, aap is expression ko samajhne ki koshish karo ha batao jo so, aapne yes. last wali line likhi hai eigen value of hamiltonian must be eigen function of parity eigen nahi nahi eigen value of hamiltonian nahi eigen function of hamiltonian must be eigen function of parity, parity operator kyunki agar do operator kan अगर सपोज करो पैरिटी कंजर्व कर रहा है सो so, कंजर्व करने का क्या मतलब है द दे आर जस्ट गोइंग टू कम्यूट साइमल्टेसनली सॉरी दे आर जस्ट गोइंग टू दे आर जस्ट गोइंग टू देर दिस कम्यूटेशन ब्रैकेट इज गोइंग टू जीरो और अगर उसकी कम्यूटेशन ब्रैकेट जीरो होती है दैट मीन दे कैन मेजर साइमल्टेसनली इफ दे कैन मेजर साइमल्टेसनली That means both can have either same eigen function or one eigen function can be written in the basis of another one. यही दो possibility तो हो सकता है. Yes, sir. So this is the same thing. अब Hamiltonian और parity ये दोनों आपस में conserve कर रहे हैं. क्यों conserve कर रहे हैं? क्योंकि potential आपका कैसा potential है? Symmetric potential Symmet है. So hence in any symmetric potential, in any symmetric potential. you will find that parity of a system is going to conserve so agar wo parity of a system going to conserve ho raha hai to uske wave function jo hamiltonian ke wave function honge wo either even honge ya odd honge kyun honge kyunki parity ke jo eigen function hai wo ya kya hoga either even hoga ya odd hoga are you getting my point एवरीवन, बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अगर ये आप नहीं अप्रिशिएट कर पाओगे तो आगे थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम होगा यस सर ठीक है ओके यस सर सॉरी सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर नाउ मैथमेटिकली अब देखते हैं क्या होता है और किस तरह से हम चीजों को को रिलेट कर सकते हैं ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर मैथमेटिकल सोल्यूशन और इन सारी चीजों को अपने मैथमेटिकल सोल्यूशन में इंक्लूड करना है और उसे देखना है ठीक है ओके गुड सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर पोटेंशियल एंड दिस इज माय सिमेट्रिक पोटेंशियल राइट नाउ यू कैन से सिमेट्रिक इन्फिनाइट बॉक्स एंड दिस इज सेंटर्ड एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो अगेन आई हैव रीजन वन रीजन टू एंड रीजन थ्री एंड व्हाट आई हैव व्हाट इज साई वन जीरो बिकॉज योर पोटेंशियल इज वॉट इन्फोनाइट इन टू दिस रीजन सो साई वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज लेस देन माइनस ए बाई टू सो दिस विल बी जीरो वॉट विल बी योर साई टू साई टू इन दिस रीजन द पार्टिकल इज फ्री सो वॉट विल बी योर साई टू बताओ 
वट इज योर साई टू क्या होगा ए टू दी पावर आई के एक्स प्लस बी ई टू दावर माइनस आई के एक्स एंड एक्स इज बिटवीन माइनस ए बाई टू टू प्लस ए बाई टू ऑब्वियसली यू कैन टेक क्यूलिटी साइन हियर बिकॉज वे फंक्शन हैव टू बी कंटिन्यूअस वॉट अबाउट साई थ्री जीरो x is greater than a by 2 so these are my wave function into all region so this is your psi in all region you can write it phi also phi ka bhi use kar sakte hai anything okay notation mein koi problem nahi now now in which region you are just going to change the sign sign kis region mein change ho raha hai b रीजन थ्री में साइन चेंज हो रहा है सेकेंड रीजन में हियर यू हैव पॉजिटिव साइन हियर यू हैव नेगेटिव साइन यहाँ तो सारा ही सारा नेगेटिव है यहाँ सारा ही सारा पॉजिटिव है एनी वे जीरो को ऑड करते हो इवन करते हो दैट इज नॉट अ बिग इशू आपको जैसे चाहे वैसे उसको आप यूज कर सकते हो बिकॉज वे फंक्शन इज जीरो इन टू दिस टू रीजन दैट मीन्स इन टू रीजन टू दिस वे फंक्शन हैव टू बी आईदर इवन और ऑड से नो मेरा ये कहना है ये साई टू या तो इवेन होगा या तो ऑड होगा क्यों होगा ऐसा बिकॉज पैरिटी कंजर्व और वेव और हेमिल्टोनियन का जो वेव फंक्शन होगा वो आपको पैरिटी का भी वेव फंक्शन होना चाहिए है ना सॉरी पैरिटी का भी आइगन फंक्शन होना चाहिए वेव फंक्शन इज ओनली फॉर हेमिल्टोनियन मीन्स वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस टू थिंग सो लेट्स गो फॉर केस वन एंड दिस केस इज इवन केस वन वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व फॉर इवन केस वॉट इज इवन केस साई टू माइनस एक्स मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वॉट साई टू एक्स हा या ना साई टू माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वॉट साई टू एक्स everyone is comfortable okay now you can write a e to the power minus i kx plus b e to the power i kx must be equal to a e to the power i kx plus b e to the power minus i kx what is meaning of that इस इक्वेशन में से क्या कंक्लूजन निकलता है फॉर द ए एंड बी बताइए व्हाट आर द कंक्लूजन वेरी गुड सो वी हैव ओनली वन सॉल्यूशन इफ दिस इज गोइंग टू हैपन ए मस्ट बी इक्वल टू व्हाट बी सो ए इज इक्वल टू बी दैट मींस Your psi two can be written as a e to the power i k x plus e to the power minus i k x, and I can write this whole function as a cos function. लिख सकते हैं ना? And this value is equal to c cos k x, and we are talking about the region between minus a by two to plus a by two. So this is my side two. So here you can have for if you have even function, and I am just talking about even one. So this will be your cos function. Okay. So now just tell me. And next we have to go for boundary condition. So you can take any boundary; hence it is symmetric. It will give you the same answer. So you can just go for side two, a by two. Must be equal to psi two a by two, and you can easily calculate c cos k a by two must be equal to zero. Hence, c cannot be equal to zero. Yeah, that clear, right? Psi three. Everyone is comfortable. Yes, sir. Psi three a by two. Psi three, psi three, psi three. Don't worry. This is psi three. 
So this is equal to zero. Hence, C is not equal to zero. That means cos K A by two must be equal to zero. That means K A by two must be equal to pi by two, three pi by two, five pi by two, and so on. Yes or no? Say it again. So from here, I can find the value of k. The value of k can be written as pi by a, three pi by a, five pi by a, and so on. And k can be written as n pi by a. What is value of n? One two. What is value of n? One three five and so on. So if your n is odd, at is positive number. If n is odd, then your wave function is even or odd. <coughs> if n is odd, then your wave function is even or odd. Even. Even. So just write this thing, है ना? So if this n is odd, then wave function is even. So now we will go for. Uh, finally, we will just try to calculate the value of c. So let's try to calculate the value of c. How you will calculate the value of c? Again with the normalization condition, and we have mod psi square dx must be equal to one. And you can go from minus a by two to plus a by two mod c square cos square n pi x upon a dx must be equal to one. Again, you can calculate it just writing the cos square as a function of cos two x, and you can just do it with yourself. So c is equal to nothing but root upon two. So again, your c will be root upon two a. So this is a whole story for even case. And if k is this one, if k is this one, then you can also find this is k that is two m e upon h cut square is equal to n pi by a, and e can be written as n square. Pi square, h cut square upon two m square, but here n can be one, three, five for even case. Everyone is comfortable. Yes. Tell me. और n equals to जो even values के लिए जो वो forbidden में चला जाएगा नहीं ये क्या हो गया forbidden में क्यों चला जाएगा forbidden values में हो जाएंगी मतलब वो energy की n is equal to नहीं आ रही नहीं zero तो zero तो possible नहीं है two नहीं भाई two four six ये possible नहीं है that is for the even case आपके लिए n की value one three five ही चाहिए ठीक है yes जो अलाउड वैल्यू है वही तो होगा मैं आप मैं तुमसे एक क्वेश्चन पूछता हूं उसका आंसर दो कि फॉर द इवन केस व्हाट आर द अलाउड क्वांटम नंबर फॉर पार्टिकल इन बॉक्स अलाउड दिस एन नंबर ना वन थ्री फाइव ऑड नंबर वन थ्री फाइव दिस आर ऑड नंबर आर द अलाउड ठीक है डोंट वरी अभी हम लोग ऑड का भी बात करेंगे एंड देन हम लोग कंपेयर करेंगे एक्चुअली हो क्या रहा है ठीक है सो लेट्स गो फॉर ऑड वन क्लियर है सारा समझ में आ जाएगा डोंट वरी डोंट वरी है ना एवरीथिंग वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस आपके दिमाग में जितने भी सवाल हैं वो सारे सवाल का आंसर आपको मिलेगा सो अगेन माय साइड टू इज समथिंग b e to the power minus i k x. Let's go for case two. And what is case two? 
केस टू इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग साई टू एंड केस टू क्या है ऑड केस है ना ऑड केस सो साई टू माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस साई टू एक्स एवरी वन इज कंफर्टेबल ठीक है <coughs> यहां से क्या हो जाएगा ए ई टू द पावर माइनस आई के एक्स प्लस बी ई टू द पावर आई के एक्स मस्ट बी इक्वल टू माइनस ए ई टू द पावर आई के एक्स माइनस बी ई टू द पावर माइनस आई के एक्स वॉट इज योर कंक्लूजन ऑन ए एंड बी एज इक्वल टू माइनस बी वेरी गुड सो ए मस्ट बी इक्वल टू माइनस बी दिस इज आवर कंक्लूजन सो वॉट इज माई साई टू माई साई टू इज ए टू द पावर आई के एक्स माइनस ई टू द पावर माइनस आई के एक्स बट वी कैन राइट दिस थिंग बाई डिवाइडेड इट बाई टू आई एंड टू आई एंड आई कैन राइट दिस थिंग एज डी एंड दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज साइन क्लियर है ये एंड साइन इज ऑड फंक्शन और इवन फंक्शन ऑड फंक्शन अबाउट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो है ना सो दिस इज बिटवीन एक्स इज बिटवीन माइनस ए बाई टू टू प्लस ए बाई टू हाँ बताओ कुछ पूछना है टू आई से मल्टीप्लाई किया तभी तो साइन मिलेगा नहीं सर क्लियर है सर कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर का यूज कर रहा है ना ओके नाउ वी विल यूज बाउंड्री कंडीशन सो यू हैव साई टू एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए बाई टू मस्ट बी इक्वल टू साई थ्री एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए बाई टू सो क्या हो जाएगा जरा बताइए D साइन के ए बाई टू मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड डी कैन नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो विच मीन्स साइन के ए बाई टू मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दैट मीन्स के ए बाई टू मस्ट बी इक्वल टू पाई जीरो तो नहीं होगा ना क्योंकि जीरो होने से क्या हो जाएगा के की वैल्यू भी जीरो होगी एंड वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट नॉन जीरो वैल्यू ऑफ के एवरीवन इज कंफर्टेबल है ना सो ये आप ध्यान में रखोगे सो के ए बाई टू मस्ट बी पाई और क्या हो जाएगा टू पाई और क्या होगा थ्री पाई ऑल कैन बी पॉसिबल सो व्हाट इज वैल्यू ऑफ के आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन टू के सो के इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाई ए फोर पाई बाई ए इज एंड इट नाइन पाई बाई ए एंड सो ऑन सो वॉट आर सो आई कैन राइट के इज इक्वल टू एन पाई बाई ए एंड वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ एन हियर बताओ टू फोर सिक्स एंड सो ऑन सो कैन आई मेक अ स्टेटमेंट दैट इफ Allowed quantum number n is even, then wave function is odd. Contrast आ गया ना Last yes, वाले के लिए क्या था Wave function even था n की value क्या थी Odd थी Odd थी अभी wave function odd है n की value क्या है Even. Even है Very good. So this is a स्टोरी नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ डी हाउ वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ डी अगेन यू विल गो फॉर नॉर्मलाइजन कंडीशन तो फ्रॉम माइनस इंफिनिटी टू प्लस इंफिनिटी मॉड साइज स्क्वायर टी एक्स मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वन एंड यू विल गो फ्रॉम माइनस ए बाई टू टू प्लस ए बाई टू एंड यू हैव मॉड डी स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर एन पाई एक्स अपॉन ए डी एक्स मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वन यू कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट डी इज इक्वल टू अगेन रूट टू बाई ए 
एंड इफ योर d इज इक्वल टू रूट टू बाई ए एंड k इज इक्वल टू एन पाई बाई ए वेर एन इज इक्वल टू टू फोर सिक्स एंड सो ऑन सो यू कैन हैव एनर्जी टू एम ई अपॉन एच कट स्क्वायर दैट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू एन पाई बाई ए एंड वॉट इज योर ई एन यू कैन अगेन राइट एन स्क्वायर पाई स्क्वायर एच कट स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एम ए स्क्वायर एंड वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ एन हियर एन इज इक्वल टू टू फोर सिक्स फॉर ऑड केस फॉर ऑड केस ओके so this is a basically symmetric potential width is same but what is going to change kya hua kis tarah se aap cheezon ko visualize kar rahe ho kaise aap cheezon ko samajhne ki koshish karoge what is actually happening to your system is that physics is going to change or only mathematics is going to change we will all discuss after the break so take a 5 minute break Just take notes, अपने notes को एक बार पलट लो कहीं कुछ doubt है then please first clarify that doubt and then we will discuss actual physics behind the particle in box. Okay? So एक बार में हाँ बताइए Yes, बोलो बोलो Sir, here k value. Uh, sir, you write that k equals to n pi by here k equals to two n pi by a है ना अब मैं टू एन पाई मैं टू एन पाई लिसन लिसन मैं यहां पर टू एन पाई बाई ए नहीं लिख रहा हूं क्योंकि मैं एन की वैल्यू टू फोर सिक्स लिख रहा हूं दैट इट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कंफ्यूजिंग टू राइट द टू एन एंड टू एन प्लस वन उसमें मैं नहीं जा रहा हूं ओके आई एम नॉट गिविंग यू जर्नलाइज थिंग आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग एन एंड वेयर एन इज इक्वल टू वन थ्री फाइव फॉर इवन केस एन इज इक्वल टू टू फोर सिक्स फॉर ऑड केस दैट इट ओके okay sir okay so we will discuss what is the basic behind that so you will surprise that physics is not going to change what is going to change is the representation from the mathematics okay so we will take a break of 5 minute and then we will come back okay thank you